Hey guys, this is Dan with Gears and Gadgets. Thanks for tuning in. So in today's video, what I want to do is address newer YouTubers from the angle of, well, not only newer YouTubers, but people aspiring to maybe start a channel and how much money I make off of this channel. And I'll get into that. I'm going to share with you guys basically the whole history of my journey of, of YouTube. And the beauty of YouTube is that it's it's really something that is your own journey. And as tacky as it might sound, YouTube as a viewer, the name, it's 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 yours. It's something that you get to watch, you know, really stuff that, that you really like. There's a reason why you can get sucked into YouTube and kind of watch it for a couple hours because the algorithms are great at sucking you in and, and really keeping you entertained. But part of YouTube to me and what started my journey was I saw the videos that I was watching and I just thought, hey, I want to do that too. And uh, there wasn't really much thought into it past that. So what started to drive me and what has changed for people now is that you are unable to monetize your channel from day one. I was able to do that and that was really my driving force. So for me, I wasn't focused on subscriber count. I wasn't focused on view count. I, I really didn't understand what any of that really meant. For me, it was one day I made two cents, the next day I made four cents, and then you know months into it, I was making 10 cents per day. So I started just seeing that graph going up, and I didn't focus on the fact that it was pennies and focused more on the fact that it could be dollars, tens of dollars, and so on and so forth. And, you know, I didn't have any sort of thought that I was going to get filthy rich off of this by no means, but I thought, you know, hey, this, everybody's talking about, you know, side hustles and driving for Uber and Lyft and how can I make a couple extra dollars? And to me, it was there, I know there's going to be a little payout, a very little payout up front, but maybe it'll grow into something and maybe it could be something worth uh, pursuing. So if you look at some of my earlier videos, I laugh because they're they're cringe, but they're cringe because they're supposed to be. I mean, when you first start, you have literally no idea what you're doing. Most people, I'd say, started with YouTube by just uploading some nonsense that they had on their phone, and uh, you know they get a couple views on it, and then start to kind of kick around the idea of doing more. So I'm going to walk you through my first couple videos here, and we'll start by the oldest, and I'm just going to open up my first couple videos now. The funny thing is, is this first Midland video that I had done, I basically, I saw this radio because I was about to move across country. Again, this is three years ago. And I was looking at these radios and I thought I would like to review one of these things, but there was no way my wife was going to agree to buy one of these, <laughs> one of these units. So my thought was, I see people reviewing things on YouTube, so they must be getting these things sent to them. How hard can it be? So I fired off my first real request to review this radio. And, and this, 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 this video, I, I mean, and, and I apologize to Midland because this is a, a terrible, terrible review. So what I did was I, I basically just on my lunch break, unboxed this thing in the car, uh, hooked it up real Bush league. I didn't even really get any testing in. It was, it was terrible. I, I, I used this radio, and to be honest with you, the radio didn't even work. Uh, I I had issues with it. It, it didn't work out. My wife was like, <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a nightmare. But uh, I thought it was super cool that uh, I was able to do that. And that video got four and a half thousand views. Let me actually back up. This sleep number video was actually technically my first uh, YouTube video. I had it uploaded on a different channel, and it went absolute berserk. This video is my highest earning video or one of my highest earning videos on my channel. And I had no idea what I was doing. I edited all this. I don't even know what I edited it on. I think I did it on Windows Movie Maker or something. And I just unboxed my sleep number bed that, that we had bought, uh, which I still have. I probably should do a follow up because it has 66,000 views here, but it actually had like a couple hundred thousand on my old channel. And this was actually what got me going like, Hey, I, I uploaded this video and I'm making a couple bucks off of it. And, uh, Hey, maybe I should look into doing some more of this. 
And all it is is just a time lapse of me assembling my sleep number bed. And it went and it did pretty well. And the reason for that is because I knew that before I bought this bed, I watched a bunch of YouTube videos on it and uh, they were just as terrible as mine, I guess. I, I felt like I did just as good or bad of a job as anybody else. And this, this, this apartment we lived in, this bedroom was so, so incredibly small. Uh, but that's actually a dormer you see there that I had my camera tripod set up in. This video was my entry into into creating YouTube videos, and uh, th that was about it. So the, the next handful of videos that I did were also some sponsor videos that I was just like, hey, these are things that I was, I was kind of looking at when I uh, was in the middle, you know, this way safe hitch. Again, I was about to move across country. I had to I needed a hitch. I found this way safe hitch, reached out to the guys over there at way safe. They sent it out to me. I'm still super grateful for the fact that they did. Uh, because again, this has been a pretty successful video with 43,000 views. <laughs> By the way, this is also when I was tech checks and, and reviews and, and I had a terrible opening that was like deafening with headphones. So I apologize to anybody who watches these videos. It's pretty brutal, but this was just a simple unboxing and the thought process with these unboxings, a lot of people don't get it, but this hitch costs several hundred dollars. And I know that people, before they buy them, they want to see really even just integration of, of or people with hands-on experiences with these products. I didn't even tow anything with this in the video, which if you're reviewing a hitch, uh, you probably should tow something with it. But uh, I, I've actually used this hitch for years now. I've towed across country with it three different times, and uh, it's it's been a, a, an absolute pleasure. I love this this hitch, but I uh, still have it. Been a big fan of Waysafe. Um, so you just see, and then I went on to my GM vibration series, which did pretty well. Um, one of my better videos is my amp power steps, which you'll see recently. I just did another video of those. Um, so as you can see, the whole idea of my channel was just trying to just have fun with it and do stuff that I, I enjoy doing with, with me. I see a lot of YouTubers out there talking about creator burnout, and I'm trying to prevent that as much as possible. And the way that I do that is by not chasing what everybody tells you that you have to do. And again, that the niche thing is pretty big. People are like, you got to stick with a niche. You got to stick with a niche. And they're not wrong because I do know that people that came to my channel for my truck vibration series that are only interested in watching YouTube for truck content, when I post a Harley video, there's a good chance they're going to unsubscribe to my channel. I get that. I, I, and I'm okay with that. And then when I get my, my Crown Vic and I start rebuilding that Crown Vic, people that came to me for the Harley might go, I don't want to watch somebody rebuild a Crown Vic. I'm out of here. And there's a level of, of sacrificing some of that viewer loyalty for what is fun for me to do. If I'm going to pull all this camera gear out on a Saturday, take time away from my wife and daughter and start building something that is really a business. I mean, ultimately it becomes a business. I, I feel like I'm at that point to call it a business now. And I, I just kind of got there not that long ago. If I'm going to take time away from my family to do these things, I'm not going to go do something that I'm just having to drag myself out of the house to do. Because quite honest, I already have a full-time job that I have to do that with. So I'm not going to take my side hustle and make it something where I'm like, man, I just really don't want to do this. But I got to take the bike out today because my Harley fans are really getting annoyed that I, I haven't done a bike video. If you don't like what I'm doing, I no problem. I, I don't I don't mind if you go somewhere else because ultimately, again, YouTube, it's my experience. It's your experience. And uh, if it's not working and, and you're not interested in my content, I, I get it. I, I'm OK with it. I do it to the people that I watch. If I get disinterested in what they have going on, I, you know, I might bail. So. Going through the lifetime of my channel, you can see I've made $8,500. And is it a lot? Is it a little? I guess it's all subjective. So I am actually pretty happy with this. And the reason being is most of that money is in the last year, I would say. So back when I started in December of 2015, you can see here, I mean, like four cents. So March of 2016, that was kind of about when I... I started seeing like the, the fractions of pennies. And I was like, Oh, wow. I, I, I'm not lying. I, I saw this and I was like, that's pretty cool. I got, just got paid three cents for people watching my videos, you know, pretty cool. 
I, I, again, I, I just got stuck in, in that little world of following those little tiny fractions of pennies. So to actually get into the graph a little bit better, what I'll show you is just back the first, um, we'll go the first year. So this just helps give a little bit better of a picture on a smaller scale to see how these numbers worked. So the first year I made 200 bucks. And to me, that was like, wow, I just a little side hustle that I made 200 bucks on. And I wasn't putting a lot of content out. So for me, it was, yeah, you know, whatever, I'll, I'll take that. And when I started seeing these numbers go into like the two to, you know, three, and then like I started hitting like $5 days later on in that first year of doing YouTube videos, I was like, you know, may, maybe there's something to this whole YouTube thing. And, and I'm going to, I'm going to kind of play around with it a little bit. So we'll go into then the following year, then we'll go to, to 17 to show you basically my second year of, of YouTube. And this is when I was kind of looking at it thinking, these these numbers don't really go down. I mean, they fluctuate day to day, but if you look at this from a month to month uh, standpoint, you start to see 100 bucks, 120, 130, 140, 170. You start seeing it, it get bigger and bigger and you, and you realize you know, it just keeps growing. So I'd be stupid not to keep going with it. So now we'll go back to my lifetime and you can see it, it gets more serious. Now it's to the point where, you know, 25 bucks a day in, in that range. It's, it's to me, I, I'm very proud of these, of these numbers and my views, uh, you know, I get 5,600 views every 48 hours. It's not a ton, but it's enough to continue growth. Uh, I, I mean, I've, I'm pretty happy with that. 6,200 subscribers, or 6249 as I'm making this video. So at 6200 subscribers, I'm finally at the point when I hit 5000 subscribers, that was finally the point where I could tell people that I knew like I, I just hit 5000 subscribers and people actually are like, "Oh, that's that like that's a number." When you're telling people you have 10 subscribers, they're like, "Yeah, you know, good luck, buddy." Uh, is kind of is kind of the the response to that. So for revenue on a month to month basis, you can see here, well, May, you know, we're still in May. So these numbers are, are not finished, but you know, it, it, at times it's pushing a thousand. Uh, that was March. I had a viral video, which kind of threw things a little bit askew, but you can see December 700, January 495, February 591, March 962, April 751 and May 445. Uh, now I also get some, some, a little bit of extra money out of, uh, Amazon affiliate sales, where if you link things in, in the description and people go to Amazon and buy, you get like 4%. It's, it's, it's not as much as what the YouTube money is, but it helps bump those numbers up at times a couple hundred dollars a month. I've had $300 a month at times out of it. So again, you can see my top earning video was one of my first videos, sleep number bed, $1,700. That's actually the cost that I paid for that sleep number bed. So it's taken me three years to basically pay for that sleep number bed. Uh, in return, uh, the AMP research steps I've made 1100 bucks out of, and then all the rest of the videos, they all start to kind of fall down into that same range. But the beauty of YouTube is that you get paid residual as people go back and watch these videos for three years, you're still making money on your old content. And that's kind of the key is you keep putting videos out and, and get them good and, and get the algorithm to keep pushing your content. And ultimately all these things start to kind of compound and it just starts to grow on growth. So Guys, that's what I wanted to share with you, my earnings, uh, basically what I make so far and where I'm at with my YouTube channel. I just thought it would be kind of interesting to share this and give a little bit of words of wisdom to newer YouTubers. So I thank you very much for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in, hit that subscribe button down below. Remember, likes go a long way to help support the channel. I'll see you next time. I need to stop looking at the screen on the side of the camera because it makes it look like I'm not looking at you. And that causes a little bit of a weird thing in editing, but I'm still getting used to this new studio. So I'm still learning things. Uh, so guys, I'll check you next time. Thanks for tuning in. See you later.